I'm Achari Shunya and I'm the author of Roar Like a Goddess and I am bringing to you a whole new contemplation on what's your goddess type because if you know your goddess type then you will know which goddess you can look up to to help you in your own life because then that goddess can act like a role model an archetype someone that you can emulate in your own day-to-day -day life and this is going to be a really interesting series so you can stick around and find out if you are channeling deep inside you at your deep deep subconscious level goddess durga goddess lakshmi goddess saraswati goddess kali or goddess parvati and there'll be few more goddesses that you will discover during this series of youtube videos and i will be releasing one every week for the next several weeks i wonder if you are the durga type of woman or person today to be a Durga type personality, first off, you experience a sense of purpose to your existence. Now, it's a different thing that you may or may not know that purpose, but somehow you inherently are always feeling that your thoughts, your actions, your behaviors, your body of work, in case you are an author or an artist or a musician or a rapper, whatever you are doing, you know that this is purposeful. This is not random. And whether others endorse you or not, you experience that sense of purpose, maybe beyond words, maybe it has some clear definition, but there is a purpose, a meaning, and you're about to discover it. And if you already have, then I'm not surprised. The second typical um, trait of a Durga type person is that do you experience an urgency to speak the truth, to call a spade a spade. Now, you may have been um, not liked by a lot of people along the course of your life because you're a true teller. And if there were times when you could not express it, there was never a time when you didn't know it. When you knew that this is an illusion, this is a delusion, this is fake, this is in, uh, inauthentic, and here is the truth. And it's always on the tip of your tongue to speak the truth. And many a times when you've spoken it, that truth has ignited something truthful in others also so best of luck with that experiment with truth because that's so worthy and the world so needs people like you and don't let anybody stop you from owning speaking and expressing that truth we all need you for that then the durga type personality does not like people taking their nose lightly or taking your yeses for granted. Oh no. Your no's have reverence and your yes have reverence for you. And you expect that it would be taken with the gravitas with which you extend your no's and yeses. And it really frustrates you when uh, people are flaky towards you and do not respect your no's and do not respect your yeses because you do. You try to be a trustworthy person, someone who keeps their word and someone who really has brought consideration behind their no and consideration behind their yes. If you put all your weight behind your yes and make it happen. So yeah, that's who you are. And then you're not someone as a Durga personality type who will take disrespect or unfairness or even subtle mocking which is no longer fun now lying down and even if you are kind of squeezed in a corner because you are punished or your culture does not encourage people like you and wants you to conform to and 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 bow your head to injustice or whatever goes in the name of this is the way we do things well 
you know that you don't like those things. You're a stickler for respect for yourself and for everyone. And um, you will therefore internally or in a very public way make it known that I want respect and I want respect to be extended equally to all beings and you know you're deserving of respect and deserving of justice and fairness and you are right let me tell you that then you are someone who is always pushing the envelope of your own life because you're not willing to settle for uh, would have, should have, could have. You, it just doesn't sit well with you to simply do something because this is the way it's been done or this is what is a trend. You often try to be the trend, not from fashion particularly, but from expressing the unique you. You have the courage to not follow stereotypes or at least you hear that voice within you to say, oh, come on you don't agree and you don't have to really that's what Durga is saying you can be the creator of novel ways of being and becoming in the world and and that is left for Durga type people to do and finally from the range of emotions that you experience from peace and harmony and joy and restfulness and kindness and generosity you often experience rage and that rage is often connected to injustice, violation of boundaries, or just the sheer um, gross insensitivi insensitivity that a lot of people exhibit. And you're someone who experiences it. Now you may experience some shame because of that or blame because of that, and you really need to let that go. And I guess when you read my book, Roar Like a Goddess, you will be able to connect with the whole goddess Durga type because the whole first part of this three-part book is dedicated to Durga and you'll be able to read her mythology her and you'll be able to discern why she made certain choices and why she didn't make certain choices that's going to help you anchor in with all these personality traits that I shared with you so that you, become, you can become a less apologetic, more anchored, more confident, more assured, and generally a beautiful, bold Durga, a roaring goddess, someone we meet today. And this teaching is not just for women um, who are biologically women, but for anyone who identifies with the feminine gender and really anyone of any gender who has these traits is channeling the divine feminine energy Shakti of Goddess Durga. More power to you. Go Durga. Jai Maha.